Hi everyone, my name is Anja and we're going to be reading a book for National Simultaneous Storytime. We're going to be reading the book Family Tree. The book has been written by Josh Pike and illustrated by Ronajoy Gosh. So Josh Pike is the author of the book. He wrote the story and the words. And Ronajoy Gosh is the illustrator. So she drew the beautiful pictures that you can see on the front cover here. Let's take a look at the front cover and see if it might give us some hints to what the book is about. I can see a large gumnut tree going through the middle of the book. And there are lots of native Australian plants all around the book. We've got the gum nuts hanging off the tree. We've got a banksia down the bottom here. So I think this book might be set in Australia. I can also see a family in and around the tree. They're sitting and enjoying sitting on the tree. They're running around. They're hugging the tree. So I think the tree might be a big part of this book. Let's have a look inside. I'm going to turn the page. It started with a seed and that seed was me. I grew day by day as red bricks were laid. My roots dug deep as the walls climbed to meet a red roof with a chimney on top. So it looks like the tree is growing just as the little girl is growing. The tree is getting taller and taller as the girl takes her first steps out in the backyard. And over time, laughter filled my garden. Little hands reached higher and higher, leaving little scars in my trunk. A heart, an arrow. As the tree gets taller, so does the girl. And she's having lots of fun climbing on the tree. Someone has etched a little picture into the tree trunk. A heart with an arrow. Seasons came and went, feast and famine, drought and storms. And the tree is standing through it all, through all the things that are happening to this family and to this town. It looks like the two children are having lots of fun in the storm, racing their paper boats. Laughter, tears, silence and song. The tree is witness to all the happenings, all the things that the family are doing and their friends out in the backyard, all their experiences. On this page, I can see that the tree's roots are digging deeper and deeper. All the connections that this family is making, all the experiences they are having. Our roots dug deeper, our roots grew strong, until one day, those little hands grew too big for my branches. I was outgrown. The young girl is now a woman, an adult, and she's leaving. She's leaving the home, the family tree, to go and get some new experiences. I wonder where she will go. So for a time, they were gone to grow their own trees in their own gardens. My own seeds too caught the wind to fly from my boughs and dance upon the air. This looks like Lewisham Station. I wonder if you might have been there before. It looks like the girl is going on lots of adventures. To settle in lands I wouldn't see and couldn't know. Forever away, forever my own. But then, in bursts like flashes of brilliant golden light, little laughter returned, little voices. A heart, they sang, an arrow. So children have returned to the tree, to the family home. 
Little hands brand new but known. New scars too that hurt not one little bit. And my branches were strong under those little hands and my boughs wide under those little feet, those little lives. So now the children are climbing the tree, a new generation to experience the beauty of the gum tree. I grew again. I reached my branches towards the sun so that they could climb higher, ever higher. And they did. They climbed all the way to the sky. Look how tall the tree has gotten. Almost reaching up to the stars. It started with a seed, and that seed was me. You can see the whole family here on the last page. And the tree in the background. So no matter the experiences that they had or the places they had been, they could always come back to the tree. Isn't that a beautiful story?